Welcome to Ogle Her Adventures. I'm Cresta and I'm glad you're here today. Today we're going to be doing something that I've been procrastinating doing for a long time and that is tackling my mountain of loose recipes. Everybody does it. We all print a recipe that we see on someone's blog or on a TV show or something like that and then we end up with a bunch of miscellaneous papers. Well I'm putting an end to that today. Today I am going to be making a recipe binder. So I found this cute design on Canva and then just customized it to say recipe binder myself. And I am going to be organizing all of this nonsense into different categories. Um, things like appetizers, beverages, breads and cakes, cookies, candies, desserts, uh, main dishes, side dishes, the whole works. I'm just gonna do it all and it's, I'm sure gonna take a long time, <laughs> but I'm going to get all of it ready and then I will be putting it into the binder. I have clear plastic covers for recipes. I have more, I have like a whole giant stack of them because I know I'm gonna need them because I have so many. Plus it gives me a chance to weed through my recipes and get rid of ones that I'm never going to use, ones that I have used and didn't like, and, um, I'll be able to narrow it down a little bit um, so that I don't have to have so many. And I'm probably more than 99% sure that I have some duplicates in here as well. So I can get rid of those at the same time. So I'm gonna grab my recycle bin and I'm going to get started by laying out my categories and then I can get these sorted and get them put in the binder. So what I did was I alphabetized all of my categories for my recipe binder and I just have them laid out here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take all those recipes and stack them on top of the category that they fit into. You'll notice that I took the category sheets and put them on top of the piles. I figured it would be easier for Zoe with helping me to be able to see where the recipes were supposed to go and frankly it was easier for me as well. So this was a better system than what I had originally set up where we were putting the recipes on top of the category sheets. Don't know why I didn't think about that in the first place.
So now that we've got all of these sorted into their piles, what I'm going to do is put them into the plastic sleeves and then I have these dividers too, which will go in between the sections. And what I'm trying to do is, you know, making sure that I'm keeping the recipes together. So if they're two pages, I'm gonna put them um, back to back in the sleeve. So I'm trying to go through and find a single one to go behind my, my cover page for the appetizer section. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go through and do as many of these as I can before I get too tired. <laughs> appetizer section and it feels pretty good however it was probably one of the smallest sections so I'm just gonna keep going I'm moving on to beverages now and I'm gonna put them behind another one of the sheer the clear page protector dividers and I'm gonna keep going appetizers, breads, and breakfast before we completely filled up the first binder that I have. So this one is done and I guess I'm going to need to label this a uh, appetizers through breakfast and then I will have to keep going on another binder. So I will be starting the next binder with cakes. Thankfully I don't have as many things to put in that one. This pile right here is all of my canning stuff, so I think that's gonna go in a totally different binder altogether. But what we have left for the binders is cakes, candies, cookies, desserts, dressings, and sauces, uh, main dishes, side dishes, snacks. And then I have a whole pile here of recipes that are like, multiple recipes on one piece of paper. So they're things that came out of like a newspaper or some kind of a booklet or something like that. So I'm gonna need to figure out what I wanna do with those. But anyway, we've made progress. We got one binder um, done already and now I just have to get the rest of this stuff all taken care of. But it's late and I'm tired. So I'm gonna go to bed now and I'll work on it some more tomorrow. So first I wanted to show you how completely full my recycle bin is. I have been purging and getting rid of things, recipes that I'm never gonna try, excess narrative pages that you know, bloggers feel the need to add to their recipes, which I don't know about you, but that kind of drives me crazy. I'm like, just give me the recipe. Um, anyway, so I've got all kinds of stuff in here that I have decluttered out of my recipes and what I'm left with are stacks um, that, you know, I'm still working on getting filed away and put into their appropriate um, section of the binder. So it's funny when you start going through old recipes, especially ones that have been sitting in a box like that apple keyboard box that i had that was from i bought that computer in like 1993 um so a very long time ago and i've just been sticking recipes in there for a long time um so you know this this piece of paper right here i have no idea how old this is my writing does not look like that anymore um so i wouldn't be surprised if i wrote this when i was pretty young. Um, I'm thinking maybe eighth grade, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. I don't know why I was writing down all these recipes, but I did. And so now I just have to figure out 
what I'm going to do with them and where they're going to go. But it's just interesting. It's kind of like a, you know, walk down memory lane to look at all of these recipes and see. This is from Home Ec. <laughs> um, it's, you know, you're doing, making recipes and then trying to figure out what they are before you actually um, get them completely done. So a nice little experiment in Home Ec. The last time I took that class was, I think, seventh grade. So yeah, I've got, you know, some, some interesting stuff here. Um, I've got a handwritten recipe here. I'm pretty sure this is from my um, grandma on my dad's side. Um, so it, it just says cookies. It doesn't say what kind of, oh, underneath in small writing, it does say lemon snowballs. Okay, so we do have, we do have a, a name for these cookies. And then over here, we've got rum balls. So yeah, it, it's really, really interesting these recipes that we have going on here i don't even know what some of these things are i don't know where they came from um but yeah going through old recipes kind of gives you a little bit of uh perspective yeah this was printed i don't even know how long ago and even back then i was interested in sourdough <laughs> so um i remember um printing some of these recipes back in the day when you had to to print a recipe from someone's blog, you had to email them to yourself so that you could um, get the recipe because otherwise it wouldn't, it wouldn't, um, you couldn't print it from the actual blog. And I don't even know if they were called that. They, they were just like websites where people were posting things or community groups. I think that was once a thing a long time ago too, so. I'm making myself sound really stinking old, but um, yeah, it's just interesting going through this stuff and seeing, you know, these old recipes that are in here. I evidently used to get uh, recipe cards sent to me at some point. Don't remember when that was. Oh, butter flavored Crisco. Yummy. Nah, I think that'll probably go bye-bye, or unless I wanted to just cook it with butter. Um, so yeah, anyway, there's, there's all kinds of things. Things from newspapers. Oh, this is from... Women's Day. No idea what year. Oh, hold on. What does that say? Oh, 1976. Is that right? Oh my gosh. If, it, if this is 1976, then I must have gotten this from my mom or my grandma or something because I was really, really young. What does that say? Oh my gosh, it does say 1976. Oh, how funny. Okay. Yeah, I've got recipes from 1976, so <laughs> oh, fun, fun. All right, so anyway, um, you know, take take a chance at, not take a chance, take a second or a minute or an hour or however long it takes you and just, you know, go through and look at your old recipes. You know, they might actually spark a memory. Um, you know, there's that one from my grandma and I, it just made me, it made me think of her. She didn't really cook when I knew, you know, when I was a kid, she didn't cook. She made jello for, you know, the holidays and that's about it. She made like finger jello. Um, so I didn't even know that she knew how to bake cookies. <laughs> so, you know, you might find some interesting things. Um, I did find a, a recipe it's like our family favorite recipe for red velvet cake. Except in my family, we didn't ever call it red velvet. We just called it red cake. And the frosting is not the cream cheese frosting that you would typically find today. It was a frosting made with milk and flour and I think, I think granulated sugar. And you just like boil it on... I don't know. I'm not quite sure exactly how you do it. I would have to find the find the recipe card again, but I think one of these days I might make that just because it's been so long. Um, since I've had that and you know now you can't find the red cake with the that kind of frosting um, so anyway I got plum pudding here 
I don't think I've ever made plum pudding in my life. I wrote it down for some reason, probably because my dad is from England and he talked about it, so I wanted to see if I could make it. But you know, here in the United States, you can't buy ground suet unless you're getting it to, well, no, you can't even buy ground suet at all. Um, you buy suet and you feed it to the birds. <laughs> so I don't know um, if, I'm sure I could probably order it somewhere, but maybe I'll do that sometime. Yeah, current scones, I've got some very British recipes here. So anyway, um, yeah, this is kind of a fun little trip down memory lane and I'm finding all kinds of cool things. I don't know, those of you who are, you know, of a certain age might remember Trapper Keepers. Oh, no, not Trapper Keepers, Day Runners. And that's what <laughs> these pieces of paper are from the Day Runner. So yeah, that was a long time ago. Um, anyway, I'll get back to my sorting and stuff now. So in doing the recipe binder yesterday, I just had one that said recipe binder, but I figured out that was quickly not going to work um, because what I ended up having was uh, too many recipes to go in one binder. So my first page is going to be recipe binder for appetizers, breads, and breakfast. And then um, I will make other pages depending on um, how many other binders I'm gonna need. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if I need more than two. So that's what I have going on now. And I'm back at it again, working on getting these recipe binders taken care of. I just filled number two, <laughs> just filled binder number two. So obviously this is a bigger project than I had anticipated. And I had a lot more recipes than I had anticipated. Um, I just can't stuff any more recipes into these binders, so I'm gonna have to get another binder. So what I have accomplished so far is I did, you know, all of the um, appetizers through breakfast in um, the white one. This turquoise colored one, which I don't really like the fact that they don't match, <laughs> but I don't have much of a choice because this is the binder that I have right now, so that's what I'm working with. I might just go see if I can find some more binders that are white so they all match. But, um, so this one, I am through um, desserts. So I still have some categories left, but these are actually a lot smaller of categories. So it shouldn't be too much more time consuming, but I am not going to get this finished today because I would need to go and buy another binder and some more page protectors. So, um, but I'm making progress, which is important. Part of what I've been working on is I've been taking all of these, the random recipes that were sitting here, um, that were kind of like a compilation of recipes or uh, something from a newspaper or a booklet or something like that. And I've been breaking them up and putting them into the appropriate categories. Um, some of them though, there are recipes in there that are good and they're actually like, you know, it'll have an appetizer and a um, cookie and a main dish and a salad and all this stuff. So I'm gonna have to decide if I wanna take the time to type out all of those recipes onto paper and then get them put in the binder, but I haven't quite decided that yet. So, all that to say, I am making progress. Um, it's not done yet, and I think I'm going to be happy with that right now. Um, I'm gonna stack up the stuff that I haven't gotten to yet so it's not cluttering up my table, get it kind of put up and cleaned up, and then I am going to um, start making dinner. So um, that's all I have for today. I will do another video when everything is all said and done and show um, exactly how everything ended up working out. But for now, I am going to just be satisfied in the progress and um, that, you know, just gonna be happy that I'm, I'm getting something done instead of expecting perfection, which is a major downfall of mine. And um, it can be a joy killer to expect perfection in a lot of things. 
and I'm trying really hard to, um, you know, my, my phrase for 2024 is delight in the doing. So I'm trying really hard just to be happy with what I have going on and what I've gotten done and to not expect myself to finish everything to perfection all the time because um what's I can't remember who said this but somebody said a done something is better than a perfect nothing so I have gotten two binders done um and no I'm not finished but um and I you know even if I was finished it still wouldn't be perfect um I have some recipes that are duplicates um, not exactly the same recipe, but it, like I've got, I don't know, probably 20 different kinds of chocolate chip cookie recipes. Do I need all those? Probably not. But they have, you know, variations in them. There's one that's extra chewy and there's one that's made with eyeing corn flour and there's one that's made with sourdough and et cetera and so on. So I've got lots and lots of different um, recipes. I even have some, I have lots of gluten-free and paleo and keto and all kinds of things. So um, I probably don't need that many chocolate chip cookie recipes. And if I really was trying to aim for perfection, I would be yanking ones that I um, didn't want to try or wasn't, or, you know, I'd, I'd have to narrow it down. I'd have to be like, okay, am I really gonna try this one? I know I printed it, am I really gonna try it? And I, honestly, I don't wanna take the time to do that right now. So I am um, just working on being satisfied with the fact that I am creating these binders. So that is, that is my lesson in you know, accomplishing something. Sometimes it's just not gonna be 100% and that's okay, it's okay. Um, I'm learning to give myself a break when things like that happen, when stuff comes up and, you know, I don't have enough of the material that I needed to be able to completely execute this as of right now. And it, it's okay. Um, I'm going to put everything away and I'm gonna make dinner and I'm gonna enjoy the evening with my family. And I hope that you can get to take some time and enjoy your afternoon, evening, whenever this is going to be posted, which, it seems to be taking longer and longer these days for things to actually load all the way. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Um, whenever this does come out, I hope that you will take time to give yourself a break and just delight in the doing and just enjoy, enjoy. So have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you again next time. Bye.